Hello once again and today I'm going to be talking about um, this is going to create a bit of discussion maybe <laughs> I don't know um, would you consider yourself a casual gamer someone that plays games occasionally um, or a hardcore gamer a die-hard gamer that plays games maybe 80% I'm not talking about if you have to work or school, whatever, you know, because we all have to do that. Well, no, I don't go to school now, but obviously, but, you know, back in the day when we did go to school, you know, was your free time dedicated to gaming or your weekends? Was that dedicated to gaming? You know, me, I, I did game. I, I thought I did game quite a lot, but. You know, I went through phases. Sometimes I did game quite a lot. But then I liked doing other things when I was a kid as well, you know. I had other interests besides gaming. So that's what makes me a casual gamer. Because I had other interests as well as gaming. I don't know, I like building Lego. <laughs> playing with toys, you know. But I didn't get my first computer till the mid-80s. 1985 to be exact. And I think I was at my last year of primary school, just about to move up to high school. Oh, God. Yeah, we don't want to talk about that. I hated high school. Um, yeah, I think that's the day when we got homework and all that. Let's not talk about that. Um, but I was one of these kids that never did homework, so I couldn't give a fuck. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think at that time I'll... You know, I was playing on the Amstrad quite a lot. Um, you know, one of my fight like I had so many great games out there, great games on my Amstrad CPC, and that was the computer I owned throughout the 80s, or the rest of the 80s. I didn't own any other system or any other computer. My mate had a Commodore 64, and I used to play on that quite a lot. And I used to come up my house, play on my Amstrad CPC. It depends. <laughs> you know, we try to. You know, he, he liked something on what I had on my Amstrad, so he fired it, bought it on his Commodore 64, or vice versa. Um, sometimes the results diff, differ, you know, he had the better version, or I had the better version. Um, so we used to, you know, oh, it's a fancy that, let's play it on my Amstrad, that, that version's better. Well, all about uh, this game, yeah, Outrun, yeah, definitely let's go to your house and play it on your Commodore 64. Yeah, we had, he had that first, but it was tons of games like that. It was good times, but we did other stuff as well. We used to go for bike rides or um, do other stuff, uh, play Legos and stuff, <laughs> you know, build Lego. I can't remember. Did I, we did a lot of other stuff, uh, say bike rides, um, a lot of outdoor stuff, <laughs> outdoor games and stuff like that. It wasn't all while you're stuck indoors on the computer. Um, especially in the summertime, you know, sometimes just wanting to get out, go a day trip somewhere. Um, even though there could be some computer stores around, we all oh, computer games, yeah, let's go and have a look. <laughs> and sometimes used to come home with a few computer games. <laughs> uh, but that was the joys of it. Um, but I, I think an, a die-hard game, back in the day, I think die-hard gamers tend to favour the console back in the day because obviously the console was dedicated for gaming well a home computer was dedicated for all sorts of things really it wasn't dedicated for nothing really you could do all sorts of things on a home computer you can even be a bedroom coder on your ordinary home computer no matter what computer it was a microcomputer you could be a bedroom coder make your own games that computer can earn you tons of money but console on the other hand you you can only play games can't create games on it so it's, I think this is what favored the the gamers more the you know they favored the consoles could be wrong um I could be just talking bollocks but well nothing new there then but me I was more of a microcomputer person obviously I had the Amstrad I bought a Commodore 64 um and the Amiga wow Yes, 80% of the time on my microcomputers, I did play games. 
<laughs> I did play games, you know, but I think the Amiga was more. I did start to do other stuff with the Amiga. I, I like the Deluxe Paint. I used to like messing about with that. It was there weren't so many much music programs back then. There was a few. There was a few. I did have a couple, but. I didn't have a keyboard or nothing connected to it, so yeah, it was, sometimes it was fun to mess about with that. But I think what the create create creativity started was when I got my first PC. Oh, there was no, I did, I enjoyed games on that. I did enjoy, but I think the, the gaming started to the gaming site started to decline. Knowing that I could do wow all this other stuff, this is where I you know messed around with music. Um, done all sorts of things yes I enjoyed my games um, but I was very selective what I played I was very selective I was more of the racing driving games I that was my it always been my favorite genre that got me started in the arcades when I first played pole position I always loved you know when I was down the arcades enjoyed the arcades you know there was loads and loads and loads around Hastings where I used to go on holiday a lot um, other seaside resorts and loads of different arcade machines but I always tend to favour the racing games that's probably 95 90% when I played on arcade games it was the racing games obviously Outrun was my favourite I couldn't get enough Outrun I first played that at the local fair when it came up to my own town where you get a fair every year and oh what's this Outrun it was a stand up um cabinet I've got to check this game out well it was brilliant movable steering wheel like that and, you know the sprite scaling I've never seen anything like this before nope I didn't even play um, space area before that I know that was the first one I think had the sprite scalers but I didn't play space area I think it's well people's favorite that one but nah mine was out Rod. <laughs> I played it off the burner it was good, but I just couldn't get into that one as much. Turbo Out one was another good one. It wasn't as good as Outrun, but I tend to favour the racing games. I always have, but I liked how the genres of gaming. Of course I did, but obviously the shoot 'em ups I liked. Um, platform guns I liked. Um, all sorts of games I liked, but I was never I was never dedicated. You know, when the PlayStation era came out. I saw how amazing that looked, to, you know, game-wise. But I just looking at it, my mate had, well, I had a couple of mates that had PlayStations. I was thinking to myself, do I really want to own one? Um, looking at the games, they looked so brilliant for its time. I mean, but I just, I played on a couple. I just really couldn't really grasp the games. There was a couple I liked. Rayman was one I liked. Ignore that. Rayman was one I quite liked. Pandemonium was another one I quite liked, you know, but I would only play them again for nostalgia reasons because, you know, me and my mates used to, he used to bring his PlayStation around my house actually because I had a nice, I had a nice big telly, <laughs> I had a nice big telly in my bedroom so, so I think that's why everyone liked bringing their PlayStations around, you know, because I had a nice big telly, <laughs> connecting it up to that, yeah, um, and I had my PC with a little 14 inch crappy monitor yep and that was the cheapest pc for it. it almost cost cost a grand but it was the cheapest i really wanted to move to the pc that's why i didn't want to do consoles you know wanted to do more than just game um and the pc i just thought what what you can do with it it was amazing do all sorts of stuff got me into making music not professionally drag and drop samples but i loved it i really enjoyed it I wish I could still use my old software. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a gaming just declined for me there. I think midnight is it just declined when it, when um, you know it weren't you meet when I went from the Amiga to the PC. I'll be buy games, but it was nowhere as many I had for the P, for my Amiga. Uh, my eight bit days of. You know, I had about a thousand odd games for my Amstrad CPC. Same with the Commodore 64. Probably about a thousand. I don't know. I suppose you count up every, you know, all the compilation games. You count up each game on that. I think it worked up to about a thousand games. Maybe less. I don't know. Perhaps I'm over-exaggerating. I can't remember, to be honest with you now. Um, 
obviously all the backup games you got for your mates that you know that all took that into account especially the days on the Amiga cool I had a load of backup games on that <laughs> oh that were the days that were the days um, but you know even at games that didn't often played on the just to build up the collection, you know, even if it was original or pirated, you know, I'll still add it. <laughs> Didn't hardly play it, but I still add it. It was just there to, just in case. I don't know. But, yeah, I had some, you know, there's games that I'm quite fond on, you know. I mean, what might done it for me for the Amiga was the Formula 1 Grand Prix racing game. Formula 1! When I saw that on someone's Amiga. I've got to have an Amiga. That's what done it. Formula One Grand Prix. I got to get an Amiga. Um, yeah, I was not. I, I played that to bits. People out there saying Formula One Grand that's crap. If you think it's crap, you think it's crap. I'm not. I'm not the one that's going to get offended by it because people. What I like, other people might not like. It's like when I say Mario games. To me, they're not a big deal, but to a lot of people that owned a Nintendo back in the day, it's a massive deal. And when, I think a couple of people I said, it's just the platform game. To me, it is, because I didn't have it back in the day. I didn't have no nostalgia for Nintendo. I never owned a Nintendo. None of my mates owned a Nintendo. I'm talking about the NES here. Um, my mate, a couple of mates had a Super Nintendo. That's the first time I ever played Mario. But even then, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I mean, if I thought it was a big of a deal, I would have bought a Super Nintendo, but I just thought, played it, yeah. It's all right, but it's nothing fantastic. I played better platform games. I'd rather play Chucky Egg and Super Mario Brothers, and I'm not just saying that. Because I had Chucky Egg back in the day, I thought it was a great fun game, especially on the Amstrad CPC, which, in my opinion, it's one of the best versions, that and the BBC Micro versions, to me, that was one of the best versions I think well two of the best versions. I think they're both identical actually but they they played so well might not have the best graphics but the playability was fantastic um, but I'd rather play Chucky Egg and play fucking Mario any day um, but yeah people get offended it's like they get offended because I, I didn't think much of Mario I think fucking get a life you couldn't have had much of a life if you think Mario was the best thing ever. No, I nah, no, it's not. Like the same that you might say about Formula One Grand Prix. You might not like it. That's fair enough. I'm not going to bitch about it. I don't do that sort of shit. Grow the fuck up. It's only a computer game. Yeah, but anyway, I'm going off at a tangent here. Um, so what would you consider yourself? This something. I'll ask the question. What would you consider yourself? A die-hard gamer where you possibly played games for about 75 to maybe 95 or even 100 percent of your life if you weren't busy at work or school or whatever or was you a casual gamer like me maybe you spent about i don't know 20 maybe 30 percent maybe 40 percent of your time playing games not including doing like work or school or whatever because obviously as i said i had other interests just besides gaming going out you know Going for bike rides, playing Lego, playing with my radio controlled cars. That was something else I was really into. Radio controlled cars. I'm not talking about shit ones. I'm talking about the, the decent ones that you actually build. Um, I think I've talked about this on a video sometimes. But that was something. I was very big into radio controlled cars in the early 90s. Early to maybe mid 90s. I just lost interest in it. And I don't know. I think I got into other things and just yeah always had time for gaming i've always had time for gaming but i always consider myself casual i always will i think gaming for me now i'll do the reviews yes i'll do the reviews that's all i do but when i get i don't really get round to playing games itself you know i might play the old gta 5 here and there I might load up something else just to play it um but Apart from the gaming reviews, that's all I, the only time I really play games. And I, I probably consider myself below casual now. Well below casual playing games. 
because I actually say I'm doing other things as well. I've got other projects that I'm doing. Obviously, the YouTube projects. I'm busy doing other things. Um, maybe, I don't know. Doing, I'm doing all sorts of things, you know, besides gaming nowadays, you know. I was no way as big a, a gamer as I was, like, in the 80s and the early 90s. Um, even then, I would consider myself casual. But, you know, gaming to me, I don't really play a lot of games unless I'm making a video or on my streams. You can tell the way I fucking play my games. I'm a shit game player of today's standards, but I wasn't bad back in the day. I wasn't bad at gaming. I wouldn't consider myself fantastic or nothing, but I wasn't bad. You know, if I enjoy a game, I play it. If I don't enjoy a game, I'll say straight up, I don't like it. You know, once again, people might get offended by it because I said I didn't like it. Oh, give it more time. If I don't like it, I don't fucking like it. I didn't gel. If I'm not going to gel with it, I'm not going to gel with it. Fucking deal with it. Um, that's the way it is. Anyway, yes. Yeah, let me know if you're a casual or you're or you're a hardcore gamist. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.